Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to address you to discuss world press freedom. Regrettably, as we speak, there are governments, politicians, companies, and private individuals right around the world seeking to limit the freedom of the media, either through laws, policies, or violent actions. Indeed, just last week I read uh, with horror how yet another innocent journalist was hacked to death because of his views and work. Anyone of us who cares about human rights, cares about democracy and the rule of law, everyone who wishes to pre prevent abuse of power, prevent corruption, or who wishes to see a better decision-making process uh, in governments around the world must therefore work to protect press freedom. As someone who is married to a journalist, I have first-hand view of what journalism is, the risks sometimes involved in getting the story uh, out, and how society as a whole can benefit from balanced reporting. As a politician for more than 35 years, I have also experienced journalism, both positive and negative, at the sharp end. And I accept the scrutiny and criticism that comes to those of us who get elected to lead. Access to information is a key part of that scrutiny. It is now recognized alongside protecting fundamental freedoms as one of the targets of the Sustainable Development Goals. This, I believe, provides us with a real opportunity to put in place the systems and rules that will make real the rights that are already guaranteed by international human rights law. In my country, Denmark, uh, any citizen, whether uh, that person is a journalist or not, have access to information in a timely manner uh, from government institutions and uh, the public sector in general. But of course, even that system has its challenges and limitations. And we have to realize that protecting fundamental freedoms will always be a work in progress. It will always require further action to respond to the challenges of the day. The recent publication of the Panama Files is, by the way, a great example of how the media can serve the public interest in today's world. Uh, but it also highlights how secrecy can cover many illegal or immoral acts that undermine social progress and sustainable development. As we celebrate World Press Freedom Day, I encourage all member states to reflect on the benefits that press freedom can bring and to take seriously the importance of providing access to public information to the benefit of all. I thank you and I wish you very good discussions.